Silver Purple Banditos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we did a lot of stuff. We've been going up Mount Chimney. We've been going up and down, battling Team Magma, Team Aqua, bumping into a bunch of different team members, taking on gyms left and right here and there. Today we're back here in Mauville City, and this is where we're going to continue on. Now we're actually going to be heading out the right exit, and this is where our adventure will lead us. If you guys remember, we finally obtained HMO3 Surf, and with that, I've also gone ahead and done something I know. It took a while, but I finally did it during my flights, chilling, hanging out. I finally trained up our team a good amount, a significant amount. And as you'll be able to see, Draiger is now 35, Iro is 31, Kaiba is 30, Elric is 32, Zagu is 33, and Boomy is 37. Now, if any of you guys know how I can XP look, lock Zagu, let me know. And also, Kaiba is probably one of the toughest ones to train. It took me really, really long, and I don't, I don't really know what it is. It just, it's become a little bit difficult uh, to train it up. Uh, I think Kaiba is definitely the toughest one to train up. But today we're going to continue on with that and see where this adventure is going to lead us. I've already gone ahead and taught Surf to Zagu, so we can be on our merry way. And, you know, hope you guys are enjoying the day, enjoying life a little bit. There's a couple of things we're actually going to pick up here on our way. We talked to this guy. He's going to give us the good rod. And now the good rod is what's actually going to allow us to catch our sixth team member, which we will be doing very, very, very soon. And by soon, I mean we could actually do it now. I didn't even realize that we could do it now. Let me go ahead and whip out the good rod then. And I will be back, guys, once I've actually bumped into the Pokemon that I am looking for. And there we have it, guys. So it took me about... 30 minutes, 35 minutes to actually bump into this Pokemon, but there we finally have it. It's a Carvanha, and we're going to be adding it to our team. Hopefully, you know, I won't be knocking it out. I would be kind of mad if I did, just for the fact that it took an absolute insane amount of time to actually find it. Now, I actually began to think to myself that it wasn't even, you know, around this area. I was like, does this Pokemon even exist? Is it even here? Because it took so freaking long to actually find it. So, if you have the good rod, it's a 5% chance of finding this Pokemon. And then, you know, once you get a better rod, it actually goes up by quite a bit. So, I highly suggest that you actually get the super rod before finding this Pokemon. But due to the magic of you guys not having to put up with me doing all those things, we have been able to go right here, throw the Great Ball, and with that, congratulations, guys. Our Carvanha was caught, and we have added our final team member. There we have it, guys. We gained some XP. Well deserved, if I must say so myself. It was a very difficult experience trying to find and catch this Carvanha. So let's go ahead and read the stats then. It's a water dark, it's a male, and it looks like we're not going to have many females on our team this time around. Carvanha has strongly developed jaws and its sharply pointed fangs packed the destructive power to rip out boat holes. Many boats have been attacked and sunk by this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and give a nickname to this Carvanha. And if you guys know what Carvanha's evolution is, you should be able to guess what uh, this is actually going to be. Alright, hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spell it right, guys. We're actually going to go ahead and call it Tibber. Because in Spanish, tiburón means shark. And uh, it might be a little correlation there for you if you know what the evolution is. So with that, guys, Tibber has been transferred to Box 1. I will be pulling it out very soon once we get going. And as you can see, it's, it's not that many levels behind. So it should be okay for us to train up and, you know, be on our way with. Okay. So now that we're done with that, it looks like our boy Steve-O is over here waiting for us. Why, hello. We met in Granite Cave, didn't we? No, I remember it. It's Rodri, right? It's good to see that your journey is going well. You know, Rodri, in this vast world, there are many kinds of Pokemon. They come in many types. Should you raise different types, or will you only raise Pokemon of a certain type you like? I wonder what you think as a Pokemon trainer. Not that it's anything I should be concerning myself with, but somehow I find myself wanting to know what you think. I suppose I should be going. I hope to see you again now. All right, see you later, mysterious Stevo. Ah! What the heck is this? What? No way! What is this going on? Oh my goodness! Why is Ladius here? Uh, I really, honestly, didn't expect any of this to happen. What the heck, Ladius? Do ah! you want us to soar somewhere with you, Rodri? Come with me, Latius. I believe that he sought us out for help. If that's the case, let's go. Okay, guys, so it looks like we are going to be soaring 
uh, to the skies. We are finally taking to the skies with Latius, and I have no idea where it wants us to go, but we are following it somewhere, somewhere strange, and I'm kind of excited to find out where exactly it is we are about to end up. I really couldn't tell you guys. We've arrived! Thank you, Latius! I don't know what it is. Not quite unease, not quite fear, but there's something unsettling. It is an odd feeling as though I am walking in a dream or an illusion. I once heard an odd fable. It was said that the two Pokemon that live on this island got some secret about that great form of evolution. Mega evolution. Could it be that some dangerous element is here because of that? Come, we should be going. Okay guys, so it looks like there's something mysterious going on here in this island. As you can see, this is definitely a new part of the game. The woman is to carve the roots. What the heck does that mean? Those whose memories fade seek to carve them in their hearts. How about we head inside then and see what exactly is going on? This is kind of really exciting and wait. Oh my goodness, are we going to be catching Latios? No flipping way. Latios, it's beautiful! If I were to describe such beauty in terms of stone, it would be a water stone. No, it goes beyond that. Isn't its brilliance like that of a dawn stone? It is fantastic as a steel type Pokemon. Hmm? Ting Magma, is it? So Latias noticed they're coming, and that is why it called us. Who are you? Ah? Mistress Courtney, that pimpsqueak go there's the kid that I heard keeps getting in our way, but that inviolably under a looking fellow there with him. Hmm, I feel like I ought to know him from somewhere. Maybe he's a contest star? Yes. For the time being, get away from me. The Pokemon behind you, it's Megastone, no more, no less. That is what, that's what we of Team Magma seek. How about it, will you get away from me or not? Ah, uh, nope. That's right, full points for the correct answer. I'll take part in this battle as well. Let's protect Latios from these beasts together. We cannot allow Latios or even a Megastone to fall into the hands of such villains. Well then, guys, it looks like we are about to have a battle on our way. And we're going to be teaming up with our boy, Steve-O. So let's go ahead and get this going then and cross our fingers, dots our eyes. Best of luck to us. A camera up and a coughing are coming out. I know what I'm going to do here. I, uh, I've been prepared for this my whole life. Uh, our boy, Steve over here with his Metang. Uh, you know, I've been preparing this moment. I've been dreaming of this moment. I've been dreaming of battling with my boy Steve-O, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up. And how great is it that our Pokemon are finally caught up in levels for, like, a little bit longer? I mean, maybe, like, one or two more routes. But it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling that, you know, they're finally getting to those levels. And holy crap, Metang does so much damage. That's That that was a ton. Ouch. That, that actually looked like it hurt quite a bit. Oh, please don't use the Earth Power on me. Okay, that's probably gonna do quite a bit. But it's okay, it's okay. I feel confident with having Steve-O on our side. You know, Steve-O, Steve-O's the man. Steve-O's a good guy. And we're just gonna go for the surf, and we're gonna hit everybody with it. I'm sorry, Steve-O. I'm sorry you're gonna have to get hit with this, my man. But, uh, you know, it's something we had to do. At least it didn't do much damage to you. Come on, take it down. Take it down with the camera up. Oh, man, it's so close to being down. So close, so close. We actually got this. I'm kind of excited to see what else is coming, too. Just because it's so strange. You know, all these different things they added to this game. I've never seen this before. Um, you know, this was not in Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire, so this whole little island and Latios and Latias taking you soaring into the sky, completely new concept, and I'm just excited to see what exactly is going on. Don't have enough Pokeballs to catch Latios, though, so that makes me a little nervous. As anticipated, unanticipated, you target lock completed, commencing experiment, you forever returning home. What, is she, like a robot? What, what is going on with her? I mean, a girl needs to get her priorities in check, huh? Good work, Rodri. Oh, that's right. We should first heal up the Pokemon the fallen on behalf, shouldn't we? All right, so our health got restored. You performed spectacularly. We were able to protect both this wondrous Pokemon and its Megastone, thanks to you. And it looks as though Latios may have also recognized you as a trainer worthy of its trust. Look, it's trying to offer you its allegiance. I believe it is trying to show that it wants to go with you on your journey. Go on, hold it in your hand. Oh, sweet. So Latios uh, has officially joined our team. Oh, cool. We didn't even have to catch it. Our party's full. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, send it. Oh, we have to send one of our Pokemon back. No way. Dang. Oh, man. Who are we going to send out? All right. We just had a Fire-type gym. So I think I'm going to go ahead and send back Iroh for a little bit. Um, just, just for a little bit. I feel like Iroh, uh, we won't be needing it, you know, for right now. Uh, we are going to give Latios a nickname. Now, it's something that I've had to think about for a little bit. You know, I, I really... I haven't, I didn't expect this to come, so let me go ahead and think of, uh, something that I'm gonna call Latios. 
Um, I'm gonna call it. Oh, this is kind of, kind of a little, a little random thing. A little, little random thing. I like to do it. I've named Pokemon after family members and things like that before. Um, and we're gonna call it Roji. Um, after one of my uncles, as you can see, Latios, Tio, Tio means uncle, that's, you know, connected dots. Uh, my uncle's name is, uh, Rogelio, but well, we're gonna call it Roji. So with that, guys, he's actually Jerry's dad, by the way, if you guys know my cousin Jerry. Uh, so with that, we'd like to give it nickname Roji, and Roji's carrying a piece of Latiosite. Uh, so very cool. You know, I don't normally use legendary Pokemon. I think you guys know that. I, I really don't use them very often. But I think that I'm definitely gonna try out, uh, you know, using Latios a little bit, just because I'm kind of excited to see its Mega Evolutions and all those sorts of things. Um, if it's a high enough level, I might use it in the next gym just, just to mess around. And with that, we have obtained our Mega Bracelet, uh, which is great too. So it looks like we're finally gonna be able to use Mega Evolutions, which is amazing. You know, all, pretty much all of our team, um, even the Carvanha we just caught, are all gonna be able to have Mega Evolutions, which is quite amazing. It, it's kind of great, and I'm really excited to just get it going. Uh, so my evolution is, is a phenomenon that has long been shrouded in mystery. What is a Mega Stone? What is a Keystone? The process by which bonds between Pokemon and people manifest in tangible power. How do we explain that? I hope that Mega Bracelet I just gave you might bring us one step closer to finding the answers to these questions. If that settles that, should we be heading back? Together with Latias, waiting so patiently for us there. Alright guys, well with that, it looks like we are heading on our way back. And uh, I don't really know what to say. I guess there's a lot going on around here. Latios, take us back home. That's been fun, though. I'm really glad we got the Latios, and now we actually have it in our team. I'm gonna go ahead and check its stats and all those sorts of things right here. Thank you for your help, Rodri. Perhaps I was trying to tell you to take good care of Latios. All right, see you later. And then, you were far great help than I expected you might be. I expect that you and your team will be able to best both 119 ahead and even the full tree gym beyond that. I'll be curious to see how much stronger you might grow by the next time we meet. Until then, Rodri. Peace out, Girl Scout. See you later. All right, guys. With that, we are ready to continue on our way here from this route. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the Latios because this route is going to take a little bit longer. Roji. Love that name. Roji sounds cool. All right. It has Heal Pulse, Dragon Breath, Luster Purge, and Psycho Shift. It is level 30, so it's right about the level all our Pokemon are. And it looks like it's going to be the first Pokemon to actually have Mega Evolution on our team. All right, guys. So I didn't expect us to actually catch Latios. So it seems like we are actually going to continue from this point next time and wander into Route 118, leading to Route 119, and whatever adventures are in front of us. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. It really, really does help the series, and I really appreciate uh, that you guys do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.